left, right hook. Has Santiago hurt. Santiago comes right back with an uppercut, hurts him. Stop, 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 stop. This is the way this fight's been going all night long. And from and here, you're going to see later in the round, Santiago land that left cross, which he's been landing continually all night. That's been his signature punch tonight. There stop, were moments stop, stop. in that round when it looked as though Mario Santiago might have a chance to go for a finish against Steven Loeveno. But Loeveno got through it, and as you heard Robert Garcia say to him in the corner, Steven, get your head about you. Regather your wits. But he's going to have to keep that right Good hand. Good right hook by Santiago. Yeah, you got to keep his left hand up too because his right hand up because hands free, hands Santiago free. is finding a home with that left cross stop, right stop. over I the low you. right shoulder of Luis. Lou Evano. Stop, stop, stop. Let him up. Good straight right hand inside by Lou Evano. Taking advantage of Santiago's aggression again. You wonder if the moment's going to come in this fight where Lou Evano is going to say to himself, hey, I've been way out of my role too often. I'm the counter puncher. I'm the guy who should be taking advantage of his aggression. And you know, I'm looking at this, this is two hard fights in a row for Revano. The last fight, even though he was knocked down early, later on in the fight, he was seriously hurt. So he's been seriously hurt probably about four times in the last two fights. It's one of the reasons stop, that you kind of hope that the brilliant Jorge Linares won't move up from 126 because he's the guy who, in my view, might have a chance to really take over the division if he could stay here. And, that, you know, that's a fighter from, from Venezuela who's been fighting mostly in Japan for the last eight years and a true boxer puncher, Emmanuel. And I was told he's a phenomenal fighter. I saw only one fight of him on YouTube, and I was so impressed. The way that Revenant was fighting now, his career is not going to be too long. He was, he's a basically on, a good boxer, great amateur background. But if you notice tonight, I think he's been totally out of any jab or boxing skill. He's trying to be a fighter, and he's physically not built to be a fighter. And he's disregarded all of his boxing skills. Just to button the story of Linares as we go back to this fight. I've seen him twice, Emmanuel. I would describe him as a young Oscar De La Hoya with more punching power. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. And then there's Valera. That's what I was saying. At one point, had 19 straight first-round knockouts. And, and both of those guys, I think, are from Venezuela, who is signed by a promoter, and they represent officially Japan, but they're both from uh, Venezuela. Hard left hand by Santiago, and a right hand to the body to follow. And once again, Santiago is ripping Luevano up no, close. No, this time, Luevano takes the shots a little better and punctuates the round with a hard right hand of his own. Meanwhile, before what is likely to be a hugely predominantly Filipino crowd tonight, Manny Pacquiao will be looking for another of those Pacquiao spectacles which have defined his career. Five wins, one loss, and one draw against the three great Mexican icons of his generation, Eric Morales, Marco Antonio Barrera, and Juan Manuel Marquez, possibly with another fight against Marquez yet to come in this weight class. Pacquiao, accompanied by his wife, comes into the arena, the fight here in Vegas where he has been the star attraction so many times in his career, way more accustomed to the big fight atmosphere, the platform of publicity and excitement that goes with this kind of event, than is David Diaz, the man he's facing tonight. Indeed, the promotion, and Emmanuel will talk to you more about this later on, has so centered on Pacquiao that the guy with the belt seems almost to have been an afterthought. Power punches through round six, according to CompuBox. Luevano, 87 out of 204. Santiago, 61 out of 196. Oh, Harold no. Letterman, how do you have a halfway through? Uh, I have a 58, stop, stop. 56, around. four rounds to two, Steven Luevano. Jim, in the first four rounds, I thought Steven Luevano clearly outboxed him. Mario Santiago landed some nice left-hand power shots. Not enough. Rounds five and six, all Mario Santiago. He stunned Steven Luevano in both of those rounds. Now, when Steven Luevano dropped the mouthpiece, you heard Tony Weeks say, put in the second mouthpiece. Each corner is supposed to have two mouthpieces. Yeah. If the mouthpiece comes out, you put the second one in. 
while you were speaking to Harold, you can see San Diego land another one of those straight left crosses, and he's landing them with regularity now. It seems like whoever knows lost his staff, his speed, and his, uh, his upper body movement, particularly when it comes to getting away from left crosses stop, from stop. Santiago. Well, having seen Loevano several times, you and I asked Santiago in the fighter meeting yesterday, have you noticed yeah, again. that he drops his right hand? And he smiled big and said he drops his right hand quite often. And this was obviously the plan, was to get that straight left hand across the top when Loevano drops his right hand, and Santiago's doing it with tremendous effectiveness for stop, the last stop, several stop. rounds. And I'm noticing when they get in the clinches, you look at Levado's legs. His legs don't look as sturdy as Santiago. Santiago looks a lot more strong in his legs. Stop. He's just the stronger fighter in general, and which is why we yes. didn't expect Stephen Loevano to fight the fight he's fighting. No, he's a great technical boxer, great counter puncher, and, he, and right now he's just a, a lanky oh, kid oh, that's trying to be a physical fighter and a puncher. <laughs> Aloevano oh, hopping oh, Santiago oh, with his jab, momentarily regaining the initiative as a boxer. There we go. Stop, stop, stop. Keep wondering when one of those Santiago explosions is going to take place again. Heads up, heads up. Get over the open. Stop, stop, stop. The more they wrestle and lean on each other, the more the advantage to Santiago. Clearly the bigger, stronger, sturdier body. Stronger. I'm looking at, I was expecting that to happen because his legs are so weak every time that their bodies come in contact. Never those legs seem to just fall apart. Trading jab, Santiago trying to get to the body with his left hand. Hands free. Stop, Here's stop, more stop. of Santiago leaning his bigger body against Loevano against the ropes. Ah! Oh. That was the lowest action round in the fight. Mario, come on, we can't throw punches for you. You're the one that's got to throw. Come on, you've got him right there. Throw, what's wrong? Give me some water. Come on, baby, come on. Breathe. Take deep breath. Come on. Come on. We're not going to give him the champion. We're not going to give him the championship. We're not going to give him, Steven. You can win. You can win. Here you see Santiago landing straight left hand right across the low right shoulder. And that seems to be the story of the fight at this point. It's him continually landing the power shots with the left hand across the low right hand of Loevano. And Loevano doesn't have any move for it. He isn't rolling the shoulders. He isn't slipping it. He's just taking the punch. Let's go. And whether Loevano was trying to take some of that round off or perhaps his energy level is dropping, his 47 punches thrown and his 13 landed were stop, both stop, his stop. low numbers for the fight so far, on, according to CompuBox. So there's an opportunity here for Mario Santiago. Can the Puerto Rican fighter take on, advantage of it? Come on, work out of there. Don't hold, don't hold him, baby. Don't hold him. No, let him go. Bring our hands out of there. Stop, stop, stop. Both of you guys, stop rolling. That's working. Let's fight. Here we go. We have those trunks, say La Puente, California. Come on, hands free. Work out of there. His original hometown. He and his wife are now living out in the 10 freeway in West Covina. He trains in Oxnard, California, with Robert Garcia and Eduardo Suarez. Mr. Suarez, famous as the silver-haired and sterling trainer of Fernando Vargas during Vargas's peak years of his career. Robert Garcia was a pretty good featherweight himself. In fact, he was a world champion. Eduardo Garcia, not Eduardo Suarez. Eduardo Garcia, the trainer of Fernando Vargas. Stop, stop, stop. On the trunks of San Diego, he has his Manianos, which is a, a, the family name on, in Puerto Rico, Hansley. which is highly respected, I was told. And, and everyone uh, hears that name over there. They have a lot of respect for them for different reasons. Kind so. of a big clan of big which clan. he is the member. The straight left hand lands for Santiago, and the right hook rocks Luevano back. At this stage, Santiago is fighting with a lot more enthusiasm and confidence. Big left hand. Santiago far sturdier on his feet. 